Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today I want to take a look at Mstable. We'll do an overview on what the protocol does and what you can do with it. Some behind the scenes on how users can participate through other platforms like Balancer we have already looked at and what you can do with MUSD. Lastly, we'll take a quick look at the meta token distribution which actually inspired this video. First of all, what is mstable? Basically, they are issuing MUSD, a stablecoin consisting of other stablecoins. <laughs> if you never looked into those much, they are very important for a lot of use cases, but are always only as good as how they are packed and depending on who issued them. You could see MUSD as holding a pool of stablecoins in a safer way. <laughs> as your risk will be divided, if that makes sense. And depending on the pool distribution called basket share, you can see the ratios and also exchange your coins between each other. Right now it's not really one to one because of let's say some of the DeFi craziness. For example DAI has been empty for weeks, that's another story though. This also would mean if you enter DAI right now, you will probably not get them out anymore, but in some other form. In theory, this could be very important though. Already now, there's a value of over 30 million MUSD around at the time of this writing. Besides MUSD itself, there is more. You can save your MUSD directly and for the recent weeks, the API numbers have been pretty crazy. High gas fees, yes, but also very high percentage numbers. Also here you can earn fees on the aforementioned swaps, but I decided to use my MUSD otherwise and also enter the necessary pools otherwise. And this will be the second part of this video about the MTA distribution, the next important variable. The meta token, MTA, is a governance token but should also serve as a self-insurance further down the line. For now this means with this you can vote and decide on changes for and with the protocol. Besides just buying MTA on a decentralized exchange, you can also earn it by using protocols and providing liquidity to support those wonderful decentralized structures. Let's talk about that. There are different ways to earn MTA token now, but I want to concentrate on the first. Mstables incentivized liquidity mining on Balancer. Balancer we already dedicated a video to, so today you can see one further connection. Therefore we also won't spend too much time on the whole how to deposit and also the inherent risks of Balancer. I'll link you the dedicated video. This means for providing in the pools including MUSD, there are currently two, you also earn the MTA token. Again, because this is through Balancer, you also earn the BAL governance token we already talked about. And of course lastly, because this is a liquidity pool, you earn on the trade fees. Now you know why I found this interesting. Basically two protocols intertwined with each other and you can have a stake in two governance systems while also earning trade fees. At the same time I watched both pools and the trade volumes have been pretty high. In the first week, so the very first liquidity mining distribution with MTA token still being in discovery mode, I already earned 7 MTA and at least at the time, at the time I could have spent it for around 20 euro. But depending on the time when you watch this video, let's see what the MTA token is worth. That's not counting the bulk token or the trade fee. I have to mention that both earning numbers are much smaller and also harder to calculate. Please mind that in our balancer video we talked about risks and loss. While the MTA distro was a nice push, I could still lose my funds, say in the MUSD wrapped ETH pool thanks to impermanent loss. In the stablecoin variant of the pool I'm more safe, but there are still possible exploit or say smart contract vulnerabilities. I have joined both pools. The USD pool a bit after its publication and the newer MUSD wrapped ETH pool on the day of its initiation. Both I have done with amounts which probably will seem ridiculous for big liquidity providers but if you have been following the channel you know I have been experimenting with some protocols and platforms in the previous weeks sometimes even months to bring your folks impressions and content over the future as these abstract protocols and processes sometimes 
sometimes need some visualization. I also have to say I use Balancer to sometimes literally just rebalance my own crypto and do so through liquidity pools. Say if I want to split ETH between itself and a stablecoin, why not earn fees while doing so and also interesting new tokens? That's how I've justified these experiments on top of it being a bit addictive to be honest. As last time, it got even worse. Be careful with your gas fees. Always check ETH gas station before moving funds and planning your deposits. Long story short, when I could or just had some disposable crypto or stablecoin, I would add more along the way. Again, <laughs> watching out for gas fees and never rush. <laughs> Except if you're recording a video maybe. That's already it folks. Not really a comprehensive earnings report or anything, not at all. Rather as an introduction to mStable and its two underlying token. One stablecoin basket and a governance token. Also we heard a bit more about an intertwined protocol, Balancer, and yet another governance token. I also wanted to show you folks just more of my experiments and what I've been doing and <laughs> showing this very experimental numbers too. Again folks, from week 1 of distribution to which this video is dedicated to, everything might have changed already. But honestly, these are very new happenings and unique events in crypto. And I just wanted to capture some of them in video form. That's already it folks, I'm stable and how I've been using it. Again, please do your own research before doing anything with your beautiful crypto. What I can do is only share my experiences and make people aware of stuff to look into. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Be safe out there, happy mining and bye.